and all of a sudden Zach, who's the older one, is like, yo guys, like, look at this on my computer. And we all think he's talking about RuneScape. We peek over in his cubicle, and lo and behold, there is a woman getting her absolute cheeks just clapped. I said that wrong. Getting her cheeks just absolutely clapped, bro. Like, just... <laughs> on the computer screen, right? So... <laughs> What the fuck is up, Starby Studios Podcast? It's your favorite degenerate. Um, I am exhausted. I'm fucking tired. I'm drinking, so I might be a little tipsy, but I'm tired. I had a a long day. Um, I mentioned in my in yesterday's podcast I was going to uh like do land surveying with my neighbor who's like owns his own land surveying business. That was exhausting. There's a couple things I forgot about Arizona. Number one. Arizona, so like I I live in Minnesota. When I go out in the morning, it'll be like 19 degrees. And then maybe that day might get up to like 40s, usually like mid 30s, like 35, 36, right? Here in Arizona, like there's such a spread with how the days go. Like literally, we left at like four in the morning and it was like 35 degrees out. And then by like, 10 11 it was like 75 80 degrees outside and i was like what like i got sun for the first time today in forever and it felt amazing but also like the sun just drains <gasps> Ooh, excuse me sorry about that excuse my language <laughs> um the sun drains the fuck out of me bro so i'm tired because of that i also didn't eat anything <clears throat> i didn't really know <clears throat> how the day would go and I don't, I'm not a breakfast person. So literally, I, I, like I, I didn't, I, I left at like 4.20 this morning. Um, and I didn't get back until like a little before 4 p.m. And so I didn't eat anything in that time frame. And then I wanted to go to the gym with my homie Logan and he wanted to go at 4.20. So I literally like quick turned around, had a banana and like some coffee and then went to the gym and did leg day. And I didn't have my first meal until like, like six or seven o'clock. So, um, needless to say, I am not good at taking care. This is why I've always been like, dude, I want a dog. I want a dog so bad. But then I'm like, bro, you can barely fucking remember to feed yourself. Let alone another living thing. This is why I'm like terrified of being a father. Like (laughs) I can't feed myself. How am I supposed to feed a mini me, bro? Like I I have a lot of growing up and responsibility of doing to do, or I just need to get rich enough to pay somebody to feed the baby for me. That sounds... No, actually, I probably wouldn't do that. I want to be, like, the dopest dad ever. Like, I want to be so hands-on and involved in my child's life. Like, that's part of the reason I want to be, like, an entrepreneur that can work from home. Is that, like, I can literally be like, oh, let me just, like, hang out with the baby all day. Let me go to all the sports and all the, the ballets and the recitals and the rehearsals. Like, that's that's truthfully what I want to do. I want to be the best motherfucking dad out there. Um at the rate I'm going, it's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, that was just me complaining about my day. It was a little wild because of a couple other things, but those are private. We're going to keep them. We're going to keep them private. But today was t- kind of a crazy day, but I'm here. I'm podcasting. I want to keep it short. Like I said, I'm tired. I have to do, I'm doing the same thing again tomorrow. So I want to like, now that I'm prepared for it, I can like better mentally prepare for, for myself. And I know this stuff is really good for me too. Number one, I haven't seen like real sunlight that I could like take my shirt off and enjoy since like beginning of October, probably late, probably more like, like end of September. So like, this is kind of nice. Cause like vitamin D for me is like super important in terms of like my mental health and my mood. Um, also I feel like just with COVID, I've kind of had like this, like kick in the ass it's like made me like a little too lazy so i feel like getting up so early in the morning is going to set really good habits for me and working with gary gary is such a hard worker oh my fucking god dude this guy was like go 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 like we worked for like 11 hours straight it wasn't like oh yeah we took breaks here and there like we took one break to go piss and get something from circle k so that's what i need in my life right now that is 110 percent what i need in my life and i'm getting paid to do it too so that's kind of nice as well but um yeah, anyways, 
gonna keep this short i just want to tell one story because so in my phone i had that i wanted to bring up my sex talk because like uh, someone was talking about their sex talk on a podcast and i was like i kind of have like a funny story about that um and so i want to talk about but it's even funnier because it came up literally my first night back family dinner I brought up this sex talk to my parents as a way to kind of chew them out because if like low key I was so I was so confused I was like little fourth grade me just being exposed to what sex is and being confused as fuck and you'll know why in a second so oh shoot I keep doing this bro I need to start this off by saying hey make sure to like comment subscribe turn on post notifications follow rate the podcast please do that if you got to this point and you're on any of those apps where you do any of those things that would really help me out okay so (laughs) set the scene right i'm like third grade fourth grade maybe i honestly don't remember but really young i had these friends named zane zach and zeke i know all z's right and i was mainly friends with zach and zane zane was in my grade zach was older and i loved going to their house because at the time we were obsessed with runescape like when i say obsessed I mean obsessed and guys I have to take a a second to pause here for a second because I forgot to mention something else I'm so sorry this I I need to name this like the ADHD podcast because that's what this is um my mic I don't know I thought I fixed it but it still sounded crunchy in my last podcast it might sound a little crunchy in this one I notice it when I get really close like this it gets really really crunchy so I'm gonna try to not do that but sometimes I get like really excited and get all in here so um keep that in mind I, I just haven't gotten around to like fixing that yet okay I'll get around to it I've just been busy. Like I said, I need to just learn how to manage my time with this new schedule. Anyways, back to the story. So we were obsessed with RuneScape and we, I loved going over to their house because they had the sickest RuneScape setup ever. They had like this little playroom where they had like a bunch of stuff. But in that room, there were like, there was like a big desk area with literal like cubicles sectioned out and each cubicle had its own laptop to play RuneScape, right? Cause there were three of them, Zane, Zach, and Zeke. They all had their own cubicle to play their 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 games, right? So when I came over, it was kind of like Zeke, get the fuck out. Ben's gonna take this computer and play with us, right? So we were playing RuneScape, you know, RuneScaping it up, chopping our yew trees, maybe fishing for some lobsters. That is such a nerdy nerdy reference. I really hope people get that. <laughs> um, so we're doing our RuneScape nerd shit, or at least I am, and Zane. And all of a sudden, Zach, who's the older one, is like, yo, guys, like, look at this on my computer. And we all think he's talking about RuneScape. We peek over in his cubicle, and lo and behold, there is a woman getting her absolute cheeks just clapped. I said that wrong. Getting her cheeks just absolutely clapped, bro. Like, just... (laughs) On the computer screen, right? So... (laughs) I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> oh, man. So, um, I see this, and I'm mortified. I'm like, what is going on, bro? What is this? But, like, obviously, I had that cool. Like, because Zane clearly knew what it was, but me? No fucking idea, bro. No idea. So, I'm trying to act cool, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Cool, bro. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? I was like, ah... And so he, like, keeps, he's like, oh, like, let's watch some. And, like, he starts, like, flipping through through porn. And it's, like, pulling up, like, blowjobs and, like, titty fucking. Wow, this is a really PG-13 R podcast. I'm so sorry if there's un- anyone who doesn't know what this is. Please don't listen. This is definitely 18 plus. I don't know. Should I put that in the description? Whatever. Fuck it. You know what? I should mark this as made for kids. With a YouTube thing, like when you upload a YouTube video, you can mark it as that. Maybe I should, you know? This is definitely a kid-friendly video. Um, <laughs> so, um, they're showing all this stuff. And keep in mind, I have no idea what sex is, bro. Literally zero clue. So, I'm thinking that sex is all of these things. Like, this girl getting her cheeks clapped, the booby fucking, the, the uh, blowjobs. Like, I'm so just absolutely dumbfounded confused bro and then i start doing a little bit of research and apparently sex is how babies are made bro and my little third grade ass was like 
how does some a baby get created from a guy putting his pee pee in a girl's mouth? It, like, like literally, bro. This is what I was. I was like, how? I was so confused. That's where the confusion started, and that's why I am the way that I am today. Fucked up and really short. <laughs> Yeah, this is why I'm short. Not because my mom's like five feet. Probably 4'11 now. She's shrinking, bro. I swear to God. Um, <laughs> so. So one day, I think, I don't even remember how it happened. But like, I brought up to my parents, like, I know what sex is. And my dad's like, you do. And I was like, bro, totally. And I like, they were like, okay, explain it to me. And I, I swear to you, like, I don't remember exactly how I explained it, but <laughs> I explained to them that I knew what, it, what a blowjob was and like all these things. And they were kind of mortified, but they were like, all right, look, we got to figure out what the damage is. And my dad's like, well, what is a blowjob? And I literally said, it's when a girl blows on a guy's pp <laughs> bro but come on like let's be honest here like blow job blow anybody please tell me i'm not the only one that thought this like the first time they heard about it like come on why isn't it called a suck job somebody dude i'm all i hear is facts coming from my mouth right now <laughs> i hope my sisters aren't listening to this like what the fuck bro why is ben talking to himself in the closet about sex oh nope my sister's out there <laughs> I love you, Claire. She doesn't love me. Um. Anyway, so so this is happening, and finally, my parents are like, "All right, we gotta we gotta tell them what the fuck is up." So they sit me down in like our living room, right before I'm going to hockey practice, and it's my mom and my dad. But my mom is leading the conversation, so she tells me everything that I need to know. But the most important part is that my mom is extremely, extremely Catholic, and that is how. She raised me. So, of course, being the extremely Catholic woman that she is, she says, Ben, sex is supposed to happen only when you're married. As if that is realistic. Me being third grader, I was like, oh, my mom says that this doesn't happen until you're married. It is what it is, right? Like, whatever. My dad is dead ass silent this entire time. I don't remember him saying one word, just nodding along with my mom, right? So I'm asking my questions, my mom's answering them, and then it's time to go to hockey practice, right? So my dad and I, I just like very vividly remember whenever we went to hockey practice, he would always bump like Black Sabbath, ACDC, um, Iron Maiden, like heavy metal bands. And so it was like a normal drive. We were bumping that music. And then all of a sudden my dad reaches over and he turns the knob down. Excuse me. I need another drink for this. He turns the knob down and he goes, so Ben, you, you know what your mom said about not having sex before you're married? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, I think I got it. I got it all in here. I know what's up now. I'm a little educated third grader, whatever. My dad goes, well, that's not necessarily true. And I was probably more confused. Well, no, maybe not. But like, like in terms of magnitude of confusion, I was more confused at that point than I was when the, the sexual intercourses were first inter introduced to me, bro. I was like, mom says A, dad says B, ah. And my dad just goes on. He's like, yeah, like, obviously you should wait for the right person. But like, it's really unrealistic to wait until marriage. But you just got to be safe about it and all this stuff. And I'm just like... First off, this is not something my dad and I talk about. Love him to pieces. I love that man. I would die for that man. We don't talk about that stuff very often. Like, ever. Like, zero. So, for him to be saying this to, my, to me was already, like, out of character. And now I'm just, like, shocked. Stunned. Dude. And so, my dad's like, yeah, you know, tell me all these things. And I, I don't remember the conversation other than that, but I remember that because I remember being scarred out of my mind. And then I kind of just got to figure out for myself. I feel like that came with growing up, but I will say like, I literally chewed him out. I was like, the fact that both of you were on the, 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 the different pages, that was not helpful for me. I was so, 
I was even more lost and confused than I was before. Like, at least I was, like, innocent. No, actually, that's not a good way to put it. I, I don't know. I, I, the magnitude of confusion was way worse. Like, I struggled with that probably for the next 10 years of my life. Not 10. I don't know. How old are you in third grade? Like, nine? Maybe, like, eight years of my life? I don't know. How do you math? Um, either way, bro, I was, like, I was so confused. I was, like, what? <sighs> Chill out, Kathy and Scott. This is not... I did not sign up for this. So that's something that I'm taking away. You know, we got to take lessons out of this. When I have kids, I'm, I'm going to be straight up with them. We're going to be, and me and my wife have to be very on the same page, bro. Like very like, this is what we're telling them. We're telling them when we think it, they're ready and we're going to be realistic. We're not going to lie to them, mom. <laughs> we're going to be realistic. So that was my sex talk. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope my sister enjoyed. Claire, did you enjoy that? She said no. <laughs> She's not very supportive. Anyways, I appreciate you all. I just, like, lowered my seat. I don't know why. Um, make sure to, if you got to this point, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, I appreciate all of your guys' existences. And, I don't know, drop a comment if you got this far saying, I smell like beef. <laughs>